50 or whatever else. Um, but before I get started, I just want to take a minute. Um, I want to thank you for the song. Um, it touched my heart. And it reminded me of why in 1977 I moved to the Twin Cities to become a St. Paul cop. Uh, today, right as we're speaking right now, they're burying one of our heroes. It, it is great to be here with, with our sports heroes and our media heroes and so many of you that are doing just great work. But if everybody could just take a, just a minute to reflect on Officer Jamal Mitchell, who gave his life, who gave that last full measure for the city of New York. Retired from being a cop. Um, I don't know if you ever really truly retire from being a cop, but when when the red lights come on behind me, I want to pull over and help more than I want to get, get out the way. But I'm running a program called Lights On, and Lights On started out of a tragedy, uh, and I, I think it's like the Phoenix. It is it is giving us new hope from a tragedy. Seven years ago, Philando Castile was pulled over because his tail lights were out. A tragedy happened thereafter where he was shot and killed. Um, in front of so many of us. Microgrants, very similar to the 30 Day Foundation, give out small grants to help people who have aspirations of doing better. And as they were thinking about the tragedy with Philandro, they thought, what could we do to never have another tragedy like that happen? And Lights On was born. What should you imagine? What it's like, you're driving at night, and you notice suddenly that your headlight or your taillights are out. And you think to myself, oh, I gotta get that fixed. And, and for most of the folks in this room, I'm guessing that's not, a, that's not a big challenge to figure out how you're gonna get it fixed. But imagine you're a, an 18 year old kid unhoused who's driving somebody's car, and now you see them red lights flashing behind you as the Minnesota State Patrol is pulling up behind you. You pull over, and the, the trooper walks up and says, do you know your lights are out? And yet you, a little shakily say, yeah, I, I, I knew my lights were out. And you're expecting what? You're expecting to get a ticket that you can't afford. You're expecting maybe to get your car towed, which you can't afford. You're expecting your insurance rates to go, which you also can't afford. And the trooper stands there in the window with that funny Smokey the Bear hat on and says to you, here's a voucher, it's from Lights On. For free, you can get your taillights or your headlights fixed at any one of 600 different auto parts store in the Twin Cities or in the state of Minnesota. Brilliant, brilliant. We think Lights Out is a win, win, win. It's a win for the cops, and I've been a cop, I've, I've been the person that's standing at that window, nervous about what I'm gonna get on the other side of that window, because when I give you that voucher, I know that the smile, the, the hands that were clenched on that steering wheel relax. The shoulders come down, and I know that I've done what I'm supposed to do, which is to help people out. It's a win for that driver, because for 40% of our people, they couldn't afford to get it fixed anyway. And I'll tell you that if you have a headlight or a taillight out, you're low-hanging fruit for my folks. We can see you coming from a mile away. And now that you have it fixed, you're no longer as visible. You're no longer an easy target. And frankly, for those of you in the business world, it's a win for you because 40% of those folks that couldn't have it fixed are now your customers. And all over the state of Minnesota, we were hearing from businesses that are saying, because of lights on, the individuals are coming into their stores, into their shops, and are getting their cars repaired. It's a win, it's a win, it's a win. And it's a gift that, frankly, we've been raising money for years to do that, and we are so grateful to be among such great organizations that are giving back to the community, because we really do believe that we are bridging police community relations, which desperately need to be bridged. And we're helping people, that, especially those who can't afford it, to be able to have a better life and a brighter future. Thank you very much. Wow. Wow. That's brilliant. 
We're wrapping up. But there are a couple more things that I want to make sure that we take care of. There are two awards that I want to give out today. Uh, one of the one of the, the people uh, is the Stephen J. Luthold Family Foundation. About eight years ago, we received a grant from the Steve, Stephen J. Luthold Family Foundation, and it was something that I wrote. It was a page, and I had no idea that it was going to happen, and it happened. And for eight years now, they have supported us. Um, they donated about one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars to us from a simple request. Stephen, uh, Stephen Newton was going to be here today, but his mom is a little bit sick, so he, uh, he, he wasn't unfortunately able to get it, but I will get him this award. The second award that we wanted to give was also a legacy award to an amazing company called Tito's Handmade Vodka. And a few years ago, uh, my band played at uh, Grandview Lodge in um, Niswa, and um, that's where I met Chris. And he heard the story about the 30 Days Foundation, and he was right there. He got it. He knew exactly what it was. Sometimes it doesn't take much. And that happens when you know, you know, one of our phrases, because we've all been there. We've all been there. You know, I often tell the story of, in my early 20s, I can't even look at buttock turkey or tombstone pizza without gagging. That's all we ate wasn't very glamorous back then but it's a funny story now but it's just that's everybody's been there you you just can't pay that bill and chris understood that so i am very honored to give the, the legacy award to chris cunningham and tito sandman thank you for your support chris, thank you thank you both thank you Stephen j Lebo family foundation um, I would like to take this opportunity right now to um, have all of my board members for the 30 Days Foundation that are here, please stand up. And I'm actually going to ask you to do something else. We have all this room. Can all the board members please come on this side of the stage and stand up? Come up on the side of the stage, please. We are really trying to take 30 Days Foundation in really to become a premier Midwest charity. And what we do is very simple. And in order to get things done, we need great people to be on our board. Now there are, there are a couple of members that aren't here. Uh, Arnice Roberson is not here. She's in Scotland, being very, very fancy right now, but we miss Arnice very much. This collective of uh, great people are here to help the 30 Days Foundation do what it's supposed to do. We want to help people. We want to help people in whatever way we can. If they ask us for something more than we can do, than we can do at the time, we suggest something else. We can't do $1,500. What if we could pay that electric, electric bill? What if we could pay that water bill for $125? It's something. And we want to do more something. The only way that we can help more people is for people to help us. And between this great collective of people, we want to get the word out about the 30 Days Foundation and what it does, and we want to help as many people as we possibly can. On behalf of this board, incredible board of directors, I want to thank all of the wonderful nonprofits that are here today that we get to reach out to, you reach out to us. It's an honor. It's an honor. stated before this is the magic envelope before you leave whatever you can do check cash QR code on the on the um, on that business card whatever you can do before you leave tonight please know that these funds are going to be moving quickly and they're going to be helping people with birth certificate renewals back rent utility bills recovery and sober house deposits just that little stuff that's that little stuff that we need to keep going very proud to say that uh, since 2011, the 30 Days Foundation has helped over 110,000 requests across the state of Minnesota. We want to double and triple that and do whatever we can do every day. As I stated, we are receiving over 500 requests a week. 
and in a very personal way. I've, I've called us, you know, the 30 Days Foundation is like, we're like the online bartender. People tell us things. My wife has that gift. People see my wife, Kate, and they just go, here's my whole life story. I don't know how she does it. But it's an amazing, amazing thing that happens. I think it's the anonymity of the email. People trust us. They, they don't know me, but they trust this concept. They've always trusted this concept, and it's an honor to do what we do. It's an honor to work with my incredible board of directors who believe in this charity so, so very much. One of the great things that we want to do is that we want to expand the way that we can raise funds. And we want to get the best people to do this so we can help more people. And one of our newest board members is a legend, ladies and gentlemen. I've known her, she, if I can just go real quick, I've got time, I could. Karen Sorbo was one of the first two people that ever gave money to the 30 Days Foundation. I told them, Cindy Chandler and Karen Sorbo, we had lunch at, uh, at Redstone and Minnetonka. I told them about it. They said, that's a really good idea, Mick. Here's $300. I had $600 from Cindy and Karen, and that's how the 30 Days Foundation started. And now, Karen Sorbo is on the board for the 30 Days Foundation. We're trying to do something kind of cool now. We're hoping you can help us out, and Karen is going to... Hopefully make this happen. All right. We had our um, monthly virtual board meeting. Can I lower this without breaking it? <laughs> Actually, last night about 5.30. And, uh, the, you know, a group like this is not really conducive to have a live auction. So I was going to offer that, but we don't do that. But use my gift of freeing people from unwanted money. That's what I do. I've, I've been doing it for 31 years, and being on the board here, that's what I'm going to do here now. Now, I saw during the testimonies here uh, and the great humor that a lot of people were filling out the forms already. Those of you who did, please take your pen and add another zero. Okay? <laughs> I saw 100. Now that's going to be 1,000 after all this humor, after all the stories. What we do here at the 30 Days Foundation, you can put another zero on that end of that. If you haven't, there's another, in addition to servicing our clients that need desperate services and all that desperate, we also need a grant. We need to write grants, and that's going to cost us about we discussed this last night, about $6,000. So you know what I'm gonna do here? I'm not gonna take any more time. I'm gonna ask someone in this room to raise their hand for that $6,000 grant writing service that we need. Is there somebody here for $6,000, raise that hand. If you're not, clap. Do we have it? I can't see. We have to fund the entire grant writing service. We did interview someone last night on our virtual. We do like that service, and now it is paid for. We can move forward, ladies and gentlemen. We can do the work that we were called to do here. We are serving a purpose here for those people that need us. Thank you very much, Mick. Yes. Thank you. Beautiful. Well, folks, we wanted to keep you here for an hour, and um, the hour's up. So. We're so honored that you're here. Thank you for taking the time in your busy schedule to support our efforts. We hope you enjoyed this experience. Thank you to all of our wonderful speakers. Thank you to my beautiful and talented wife, Kate, for bringing the house down as she always does. Thank you to Higher Standards, our presenting sponsor. We could not do this event without them because they covered all the expenses. Everything we're doing today is pure donation. Thank you, Higher Standards, very, very much for this. Thank you, sir, for all the wonderful times you gave us. Kent, Tony, Mike, Max, what a pleasure. It's been a beautiful thing. My beautiful sister, Tony, I love you so much. Don't walk away. That's, you're my sister's name. I love you. I love you. 
Folks, if you want to get a photo before you go, please do. Uh, if I can ask uh, Tony and Kent if they can hang for a little while longer, if that's possible. Mike, if you're available too, if that's possible, we'd love to get photos uh, by the photo booth. My incredible board of directors, thank you very much. God bless you all for coming. <laughs> Donate if you can. Put it in the envelopes. Thank you for attending the Legends Luncheon, everybody. God bless. Thank you.